Hey guys, what's up? So today we're showing you guys a tweak called iFlutter, and this tweak is pretty amazing. What it allows you to do is pretty much spam uh, people. So I'm not telling you guys to use this um, to attack anybody. I'm showing you guys for educational purposes only. For you guys, do this tweak is on you, and I'm not taking any responsibility for the damages or for you guys using this tweak. Um, I just also mention one thing, guys. This tweak is very, very, very buggy. So uh, just keep that in mind as you guys use the tweak. And it might not work for like certain iOS versions. I think iOS 13 is the only version it works on, I believe. But it's still really buggy. On iOS 12, it might crash. But it's just really weird. You just got to try it on whatever iOS version you are at. If it's crashing and it's not working, then unfortunately it's not working for you. But for iOS 13, I think it is working on iOS 13. But like I said, the tweak is very buggy. If you get any problems with this, if it's not crashing, but it works and it doesn't work, just reinstall the tweak. That's really it. So unfortunately, this tweak uh, it doesn't have a, a home at a repo um so we have to download the .dev file for it which is no problem so i'll link down the description it's a jit hub for this guy um i don't know how to pronounce his name but that's the guy who uh, is the creator of the tweak he also has a bunch of other tweaks as well it's kind of like a little old developer i'm not sure he creates anything new um so i saw the jit hub link down below if not just search up him and jit hub and you have to go to his tweak section and you guys can scroll down you're gonna find iflutter he's all his tweets pretty much but you can see iflutter right here so you want to type on iflutter and once you guys tap on that, it's going to be here, and you're going to see right here, that's what you're going to tap on right here. Like I said, it's two years ago, so it's been a while. And after you guys do that, you go in the top right for the three dots, and then you want to go to uh, go to file. Actually, no, my bad. So once you're here, you guys want to go to the bottom. I mean, this three dots down here, and then tap download. And then you're going to tap on download, and it's going to install. And after it installs, you guys want to download a tweet called Falza or Falza File Manager. Um, you download the 64 bit or just a regular version, doesn't really matter. Um, and then, or if you're a 32 bit device, then just download the 32 bit device version of uh, Fileza File Manager. And then, after you guys on File File Manager, you would download it here and then open it from Safari into Fileza and then go to Fileza and then just install it through Fileza. So, you install Deb through Fileza, that's just pretty much what you're doing. And after you guys install it, I have installed on my other phone. I mean, I just don't, this is my main driver, I just don't have have installed it here. I did before, I just I only keep the tweets that I actually use a lot here. It's like my backup device. Same iPhone X, both iPhone X's, and both on the same, well, different versions of iOS 13, but they're both iOS 13. So I've installed on this one, so I'm going to show you pretty much what it does. So you go to anybody, you go to message, uh, you can message like any number, an email, or whoever, it doesn't really matter. And let me do a test. I'm just going to test that one. Okay. So once you guys go to the message, you're going to see this like new option up here. Tap onto it, and then you're going to see fits, words, count. So fits. A, which is a, a uh, spam a fits message words you can spam each word of a message individually so and then you also have count spam numbers counted from one so you have the option you want on you go back and then you just press the spam button tap it i mean i'm not bad you want to tap on uh start flooding down here so after you guys do that it's going to start spamming and it's going to oh i don't know why it's not working but let me go to fits oh i don't i didn't type anything up all right so let me type in Oh, you do the words. So if you do the count, start flooding, and there you go. You type on the pause button on top, and it stops it. But look, it literally spammed all that in like three seconds. So it can really mess you up. I mean, like. Yeah, that's going to be annoying. It's only a six, and there's 70. It's at seven right now. And there's 83. Yeah, that's going to be annoying as heck. But that's pretty much, you guys owe me for doing this. It's going to be beeping for that 10 minutes. All right. But um, yeah, so you guys can spam people. If you do spam them so much, obviously it's annoying. It's like, what the heck? It actually could freeze up their phones and then you might have to restart their phone. So like, I wouldn't do this just to anybody because it could really piss off angry people. Like I said, use it at your own risk. But I would just recommend doing this to people you know, like family or friends. That's the way I'm like making this video and for it to be intended to use for it. For people you know, like family and friends or friends them. Not like people you don't know because they can take it the wrong way. Um, but just make sure you feel comfortable with the person. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys next one. Thanks. And yeah, peace. Also, wait, actually, one more thing. I want to show you guys an alternative, okay? So if you guys have a tweet called Fletch, which is kind of dead, but I still use it. It's called Fletch 3. Um, so it's actually called Fletch 3 Beta. This is the tweet right here. I'm sorry for the beeping. It's still going off. It's only at 29. I don't know why it's not all coming at once. It's just being very slow. Okay. Sorry for the beat, that's really annoying. All right, so we actually want to go over to this right here. We can search it up or just go to messages by down here. Tap down here, not cloud. Um, and then find messages and, and go into it. Like this ABC order, which is great. Oh, and, and right here, messages. <laughs> so annoying. 
And it's going to be right... Bomb touch. But it should be in here. Um, but here's right here. Bomb touch for iMessage. So this is pretty much like the same thing. Um, you send many messages at once. So how this works, right, is that you go to messages. Right? Let's see you send a message. Hi. Okay, hi. Send a message. Let's call it on to it. So you see it come up high, and then after you send a message, it goes away, obviously, right? So with this tweet, with this uh, option, though, is pretty cool. Tap to turn on. Okay, now it's on. So now all it does is that when you, send, when you send a message, like that, hi, send, it keeps it there. So you keep pressing it. Just like that. So you send it, like, multiple times. Now just do it from this angle. So it's just like a lot easier. And you also have another tweet called Auto Touch. Um, so if you have another tweet called Auto Touch, what that does is that you can actually like replica like your taps. So you can keep doing this and just pretty much spam somebody. Now that's pretty much the two ways I know of. Um, but you can just, yeah, you can just do it manually, which just takes longer and it's, it's more work. But these are just quicker ways. But yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And yeah, peace. Almost there.